that, that that's the only point I wanted to make. All right, so let's talk about All Star Weekend, man. All Star Weekend. Who do you think has the best top five, starting five, whatever y'all want to call it? Man, I gotta go with the West, man. CP3, first of all, oh, man. Let, let let me let me let me let me show them show them or let them know what the the lineup is. In the East, we got. At the point guard, we don't know. Car- Carter, you calling out Drew Holiday, right? Since Ray John is injured, so we gonna we gonna assume they gonna give it to Drew. Then we got D Wade at the number two, LeBron at the three, Melo at the four, and Grant at the five. So there you go. Turn it over. Look at the West. We got Chris Paul. We got Kobe Bryant. We got Kevin Durant. We got Blake Griffin. We got Dwight Howard. We this it's not fair. It's not it's not it's fair, not man. Fair. That's that's that like when you when you spit those names out, oh my God. You seen the way it just flowed off my tongue, but when I was saying the East, it was kind of like you know a piece here, a piece there. Yeah, but like, like what's up with all them other old dudes? Like that's that's, that's, that's what you're thinking <laughs> when you when you shouting out the East, man. But the West, oh my goodness. Oh, I just look at it like this. They already have the Blake and CP3 show, and you're just adding. All right, all right. Let's look at it like this then. Let's look at it like this. I'm sorry. You got most of the Olympic team on one team. <laughs> God damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to spaz. I had to spaz. Hey, man, I ain't mad at you, man. So here's the question that, you know, is on my mind. How many alley oops we gonna get in this game, man? Cause you, you know, you know, Chris Paul, he's about to have some fun. He he's about to have, I don't know, man. Will will he beat your my players, you know, assist record per game? Will he do it? Can he do it? <laughs> he he may be able to do it. I I say he might get forty two. That that's my number. I don't the know. Forty two oops, right? Or forty two doms. Forty two doms, and he and it may all by be oop. Like he may oop <laughs> all forty two of them. Like it, it may be that easy. <laughs> hey, you know I'm calling it, man. I'm gonna go ten below, and and just say that they're gonna put up a Blake Griffin amount of oops, baby. They're gonna put up Blake Griffin's jersey number thirty two. Kobe gonna get some. Blake gonna get some. I'm I'm scared to say Dwight gonna get some. I don't I don't even know what Dwight gonna do, man. Like I'm, I'm yeah. Uh, let, let's not even talk about Dwight, man. <laughs> yeah, let's not. It's just, it's gonna be crazy, man. That's gonna that's gonna be a, a good game, man. I think. Will, will they actually play? You think it's gonna be competitive, or are they gonna be out there goofing around? I got them for goofing for the first two and a half quarters, but shit get real around that third fourth quarter. Shit gets real. Shit like. Every single year, no matter what year it is, man, they can run the score up to 140 all they want. But I, I guarantee that fourth quarter, woo, shit starts. So you be- calling it? You think it's gonna be a close one? Yo, within five? Within, within, like I, w- I would say seven to seven to ten, seven to okay. ten. But that's only because of like late game foul situations. You know what I'm saying? Well, nobody have a foul to the last five minutes in the fourth. I, I guarantee you that, man. <laughs> Every single year, yo, it's been like that every year. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming out with this win. Yeah, we was playing around, but this time I'm playing D. You know what I'm saying? You think you're going to take that open three? Hell no. Somebody's shit going to get sent out into the stands, right? You know what's going to (laughs) happen? People game face going to come on. I'm telling you. Every year, yo, it get like that. They're like, nah, we're not letting letting y'all win. It ain't that easy. Yeah, I know this ain't no game, but now it is. Every single year, yo. And I love it, though. I love seeing the, the oohs and the eyes in the first three quarters. But that fourth quarter, people start putting them pads on, the undershirts, you know, start bringing out the, <laughs> the fresh sneaks. They like, no, nah, I got to change my sneaks, B. Let me, I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? Like, they start, <laughs> they, yo, I'm telling you, people start suiting up in the fourth, man. Real rap. I love it. All right, all right. So what other uh, events from the All-Star Weekend are you looking forward to, man? Or no, scratch that, man. Forget that question. Are you going to watch the dunk contest this year. I mean, I would. Never mind. I don't know if I'm wasting space. I was going to DVR it and then just look <laughs> at Twitter. I was going to look at Twitter and, and if Twitter was saying that it was good, I was going to watch it later. Is that that? See, like I, I'm not even. I don't even know, man. Like I, I feel like the dunk contest has lost its heart. It's lost its soul. It's all about who can put on the best performance. Not it's not it's no longer about the dunks, man. It's like who gonna bring out a choir, who gonna do 
uh, a million and one jumping jacks and then hit a hit a dunk. Who's going to jump over a Kia Sonata using Uvo to throw you a oop? You know, like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just like, come on, son. Like, where is the real dunks, man? Back when Yo, Vince listen, Carter was throwing them up. And when I see that jumping over an RV for that Tomahawk, woo, <laughs> I don't care if it's a basic Tomahawk. It could be a LeBron Tomahawk. But you jump over that RV, baby, you get my vote. <laughs> Hey, man, the sad thing about it is they can't play I Believe I Can Fly, man. Like, Blake already took that from him, dog. So I, I don't even know what he's going to glide over the RV with, man, because you, you got to have some type of soundtrack in the back when right. you jumping over an RV, my you nigga. You know what? All right, this is it. This is the headline. 2013 Slam Sprite Dunk Contest, whatever you call it. NASA just came out with a new jetpack. And they need somebody to sponsor it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know somebody you know somebody gotta get endorsed. They're gonna have NASA all over their shirts and jersey. They gonna put the jetpack on. Hey no, nah, man, he just gonna come out in the astronaut outfit, man. That'd be a first. <laughs> hey yo, and yo, forget the R V man. Dress him up in an astronaut outfit and put a polar bear under there and you jump over the polar bear and dunk it. Wow. Wow. Oh, you know what? And then, and then when you land the dunk, yo, yo, you gonna take a, a bottle of Coke, crack it over the uh, polar bear's mouth, and, and you know guzzle it down. There you go, right there. Dang. Oh no, Coke, and, Coke gotta, Brandon, baby. and they gotta put, they gotta take a couple fragments from the moon and put them under the the court, so it could be like America's first step. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, plant the flag instead of the Coca Cola, man. <laughs> One large step for whoever the winner is. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, the dunk contest, man, the antics are crazy. But every it is, other event, man. It's ridiculous, dog. I'm going to be there for the skills challenge, man. Drew Holiday is going to show up. I, I hope he's a starter for the for the East, man, really. Like, I ain't going to lie. I hope he's a starter. I mean, it's between him and Kyrie, man, so. I want I want to see in the next in the next few short hours or days, they should be able to come up with a uh, – a starter because I, you know, the coaches they all picking their starting lineups and reserves. How many minutes people are gonna get? I hope mm-hmm. the coach says Drew Holiday gets to go ahead, man. Really, I seriously. Yeah, man. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, he got a good relationship with Spoelstra and you know Spoelstra are giving those minutes, man. Yep. So we'll see. But now nah, the questions that we got from the sports segment this week is we want to know, man, LeBron versus KD. Who y'all think is the better player overall? Who y'all think gonna get the MVP? Who's going to finish out with the best career stats, yo? And also, for me, I got a side question for that. What makes KD a great player? Not what makes him a good player. I want to know what makes Kevin Durant a great player. And then let us know whether or not you're going to be watching the the dunk contest, man. Is that it, Carter? You got any questions you want to throw at him? Nah, I just want to tell him the number. Leave it at 313-744-3766. You can leave a voicemail. Me and Jay going to be checking it. And uh, ladies, um, don't forget to leave your number. That's right. No fellas, though, man. We don't, we don't play those games. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, let's check emphasize. out the track. Right? Hold on. What's that? <laughs> let's emphasize. Quote fingers. Ladies, leave your number. Only. <laughs> you know, with the red lights, all capital letters. Yeah. Fellas, turn around. This is ladies night. <laughs> yeah, but nah, man, we got a dope track for y'all from the homie Ace Hood. This joint is called Bugatti, y'all.